Catalan Institute of Pharmacology works on the effectiveness and the adverse effects of medicines in real practice. In contrast to the research in clinical trials, which is research on efficacy, we try to evaluate the effectiveness in clinical practice of medicines and in general their benefit-risk uh, relationship. Um, our main research lines are at the moment research on blood dyscrasias. This uh, has been lasting for more than 30 years and we are the center in the world with the biggest database of blood dyscrasias in the world. We have also worked hardly on gastrointestinal bleeding and we are now focusing our research on new uh, drug-induced diseases uh, which uh, are becoming more and more frequent like, for example, uh, renal insufficiency, renal failure, and in particular, renal failure in uh, oldest, in elderly people. Uh, one of the main research fields is now research on polypharmacy and the effects of polypharmacy in elderly people in collaboration with a group of uh, research group on geriatrics and our hospital. Our research field is basically the effectiveness of medicines in clinical practice. Effectiveness is not the same as efficacy. Efficacy is measured in clinical trials, which are more or less artificial situations of the clinical practice. Effectiveness is the efficacy in real practice. And our main focus is medicine's effectiveness and medicine's adverse effects. And in this way, we try to evaluate the benefit-risk ratio of the different op therapeutic options for each disease. In the recent years, we have focused our research on the elderly people and in particular polypharmacy in the elderly. There are in Catalonia more than 200,000 people taking more than 15 different drugs every day. This poses enormous problems which are very far from the so-called evidence-based medicine because evidence-based medicine is based on assessments on individual drugs one by one but there are, no, there, there are no evidences on the benefits and the risks of medicine use when the very elderly take 10, 12 or more than 15 different medicines every, every day. So polypharmacy in geriatrics is one of the, our main research areas. In this setting, we are studying particular problems in uh, geriatrics. For example, drug-induced renal failure or drug-induced gastrointestinal bleeding or more and more frequent problem in uh, our country, which is the very high uh, proportion of elderly people which, uh, who are chronically treated with antiplatelet drugs and anticoagulants. They uh, are admitted to hospital for different problems, for example, for non-elective non surgery for hip fracture and things and problems like that. And this poses very important challenges in therapeutics. And we are making collaborative multicenter research uh, with other hospitals in Catalonia and in Spain and with different clinical groups in the hospital. Uh, on the outcomes, the clinical outcomes of people treated with anticoagulants and antiplatelet drugs. The Catalan Institute of Pharmacology is the center for pharmacovigilance in Catalonia. So one challenge is, of course, the discovery and the evaluation of adverse effects of medicines as we have been doing in the last more than 30 years. But new, uh, new challenges are, in particular, uh, the study of hip fracture and the consequences and the um, uh, risk, well, the pharmacological risk factors for hip fracture. We have in Catalonia more than 5,000 uh, 5, cases of hip fracture every year and we estimate that um, at least one quarter of these are attributable to medicines use. Medicines use, which is not always necessary, strictly necessary for these patients. Um, a, a third uh, important challenge is to develop methodologies for the extraction of clinical information from electronic medical records. We are working in collaboration with the European Medicines Agency and with other uh, seven important European universities in a big projects, uh, collaborative projects, 
to try to advance uh, new methodology and new technology in the extraction of clinical information from electronic records.